I'm sitting on my deck thinking about what matters most. And I think maybe for all of us, it's pretty much the same thing, that our loved ones and this beautiful planet. Um, it's really a great comfort if we had to be locked in our houses anyway, that it happened in the springtime when there's so much new life. And that's always a reminder, I think, that things will go on. So I'm gonna take you over and give you a sense of just how fun it is to plant, not necessarily for what's the prettiest flowers, but what's the, um, the ones the bees like best. So this used to be a raised bed vegetable garden. And then I decided that really the bees and the butterflies needed it more than I did. So I planted some bee balm. This is butterfly weed. It's just coming back. It's a form of milkweed, which is, I think, really lovely. Um, it's the host plant for the monarch butterfly. In the back we have joe pie weed. It doesn't really get big and bloom until way later in the summer, but when the monarchs come back um, uh, on their fall migration, they'll, they'll really like that um, as a source of nectar and fuel for the long journey to Mexico where they spend the winter. And then these daisies, they're not native to Middle Tennessee, but I love them because my mother carried them in her wedding bouquet, and, and the bees like them too. And then in the back we have catmint, which, oh my gosh, catmint is so popular with the bees and the butterflies, those little blue flowers. Anyway, you can just kind of get a sense of all the ways that you can plant to provide a a habitat for the insects that are in so much trouble right now. So I hope you consider planting some flowers for the bees and the butterflies and I also hope you'll consider supporting Milkweed Editions, this beautiful nonprofit press that brings books into the world according to just wonderful conservation practices and who support writers um, and readers who care about our world. Thank you.